Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jump. Basically, you start out with massive amounts of data. You say, how are we going to analyze this? Well, let's fire up a pivot table and see if we can solve this problem. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill John. Another 2010 tip. This is one that they uh, picked up from uh, probably from OneNote. OneNote added this functionality back in uh, Excel 2007. I have a uh, nice little spreadsheet here. I'd like to dress this up a little bit, add some eye catching pictures or something like that. So I'm going to come back to Insert. And if I go to Insert, Screenshot, open the drop down, it's going to show me all of the available windows that I have open right now. And you'll see here that I have a Internet Explorer page. And so I choose that. And it's going to actually take a screenshot of the Internet Explorer page, bring it into Excel, and uh, you know. So now we can uh, resize this a little bit, use the crop tools to recrop if we want to. Now, a cooler way to use this, and this is actually the way that uh, OneNote originally introduced it, is not to just allow Excel to bring the whole screenshot in. There's a better way to go. So let me click Delete to get rid of this, and to set this up, you want to make sure that you are at the other application first. So there's my web page. I kind of get it uh, centered so that way the section that I want is in the visible part of the page. And now we'll go back to Excel and I'll go to Insert and not choose one of the, the thumbnails but come down here to Screen Clipping. Screen Clipping, there we go. And it actually gets rid of Excel for a second, brings me back to the last used application and gives me this crosshair where I can get to draw exactly where I want it to go. So I choose the uh, section of the, the screen that I want and it's now going to insert that. So no need to have snag it or to use print screen. Uh, you now get to very easily come in and choose the section of the last application that you want to grab and puts it right there in Excel. Great little uh, trick, uh, faster ways to add pictures to your Excel spreadsheets now. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.